Hello everyone, Oregon Moto John here. We're going to uh, grease the um, head bearings on this 21 KTM 300 TPI. Um, this would apply to be the same as on my 350. So I had to remove the forks to uh, do some suspension work, putting some Raven cartridges in there. So I'll give an update once I put those, get those in and do a ride. But I um, thought, you know what? I've got my forks on. I know these things need to be greased. The bearing in here and up in here. So, uh, you know, the forks were off. That was easy. I just loosened, the, took the front wheel off, loosened these bolts off. The forks drop out. And I set my caliper up on something so it's not going to get strained. And then I'm going to take these handlebars and set them off on this towel because I didn't really feel like I needed to remove all that stuff and just extend the duration of this project when all I want to do is grease those bearings. So, that being said, this is looks to be pretty easy. I loosen this pinch bolt right here all the way up. Doesn't need to come out. And then I loosen this up to where it was almost out. And then, because I didn't want this bottom piece to fall out once that came off, so then I just took and lightly tapped up on this side and then went over here, tapped up on that side. And then I noticed that the, um, the gap that was in here was suddenly gone, showing me that this had this had pushed up and then if we look down here this is loose so this is ready to fall out the minute I loosen this up the rest of the way this is gonna pull this is gonna pull out and we'll be able to grease those so this is just the quick way I mean probably the right way is to uh, remove all this stuff um, I just removed my headlight unplugged it and set it aside and so this is the quick the quick way um, I did do a tubeless system install on these tire set here and here. I'm making sure they hold air. It went well. I'll uh, I'll do an update on how I like those. I've never run tubeless before, so I'll be watching for my tubeless review. I'll do an installation video later, but I'll do the review of how I like them after I ride with them. So let's get back to greasing these bearings. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up on this as I take my left hand and loosen this up. And then this should just drop right out the bottom and this should pull off the top. So once that pulls off, you'll have um, an O-ring that comes off in this dust cap. And then over here, you can see that pulls off and it looks like that. And there was quite a bit of grease in there. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So that's what that looks like after I pull out um, the bearing, this cap and and seal and then this o-ring goes on top while i'm greasing those bearings i'm just going to put a towel up here and then put those handlebars on top and secure them so they don't fall so here we are we have these this bearing cleaned it doesn't come off of that race so you just have to clean it here i used a little contact cleaner um, rotate a little would wipe it off with a clean paper towel or a clean chop towel and then blew it out with a little bit of compressed air and then repeated that process um, I did the same thing to this, you know, spray it with a little contact cleaner and then, you know, let that dry, blow it out and then get a clean shop towel and rotate it until it seemed to have gotten all the grease out. It wasn't that hard. And now I'm going to start packing the grease in by hand. We'll pack around this edge here with the palm of your hand, um, back around through this edge, certainly through these parts of the bearings. This is a little harder because you can only access it from the front and the side, so we'll we'll repack that just by getting some grease on here and then just kind of pushing it in with kind of the palm of your hand, kind of that fat part of your hand by your thumb. You can kind of get it on there and then just push it in and just take your time. And we're going to work that into the to the bearing until it's well greased. And I've heard on new bikes these things aren't greased very well, but this one was surprisingly there was quite a bit of grease. So I don't know if uh, I bought this bike used. Maybe maybe that person greased it, but. It wasn't bad. I'm so glad I did it so I know, but um, you could use any wheel, wheel bearing grease. I'm going to use either this Maxima grease. I'm thinking about using some Motorex grease, but um, well, you could use either one. Motorex for the win on this one. I think I'm going to go with this 2000 Motorex grease. Um, I've used it on, like, for example, here's my front wheel hub. It was there many, many months, and it always seems to be there when I come back. So I'm going to go with that but you could use any wheel bearing grease that you feel is good. And we're gonna take some of this grease, 
and we're going to start packing it in here and just working it into these bearings. Okay, so we're going to take uh, this grease and just work it into these bearings. You can use kind of the palm of your hand a little bit. So I'm just working that in. And then you can put it up here too and work it into that opening and use the fat part of your hand and just kind of work it in. And then I'm going to, you know, turn it over, you know, put some in here. And then you can, you know, work that into that little crevice there. And then you can put it along these bearings. You know, and work it into here, and just just keep gathering it up. And occasionally, I might wipe some off my hands, and then work at it again. And just keep working at it till you feel like there's plenty of grease in there. And then I'll do the same to this one, but we'll have to work it while it's while it's on there. So here we are. I just put a little grease on the shaft to protect it from corrosion. Thoroughly work grease into this bearing thoroughly worked grease into this bearing and now we'll just go ahead and reassemble it. Um, I did clean the race on the top and the bottom just with some contact cleaner and then I also cleaned the bottom race and then I um, filled that with some grease as you can see and and there's grease in the bearing so that's probably not that critical but I put grease all over including where the seal is going to go to help waterproof that and just really worked a lot of grease up into that up into that race. And I did the same thing to the to the top one. Okay, I just went ahead and we set the bearing back in there. Now we're gonna put our seal. I greased the inside of that seal as well as that, that O-ring. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna put that dust seal back on and then we'll put this piece back up through and it's well greased and the race is greased and then we'll put this, tighten this retaining nut back on the top to hold it on. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, and just remember that O-ring is on top of this metal cap between this and the, the um, triple clamp. And then I just loosely put this nut on here. You can see I've got some grease to clean up. Um, so we'll do that now. And then it'll be a matter of um, lightly tightening this down and they need the forks back in there and then we'll adjust the um, the headset to where there isn't free play in there. So that wasn't bad. I mean, I'm glad I did it. That just took took a moment, especially with just putting the handlebars, leaving everything together, pulling it off and throwing it back together. Um, not bad at all. Um, it did help. I had um, a spare set of hands over here that she helped me um, just for a little bit would hold hold things just for like, I think I used her three or four times just for like uh, a couple minutes just to hold things while I disassembled and reassembled, but it made it a lot easier. Well, here it is. Uh, I got the face mask back on, the fender. Now I'm just ready for uh, for the forks. And I've just lightly snugged this up for now, finger tight, and then leave this loose until we get this. There's a torque that can go on there, but I usually just go by feel. Then you have to ride it, put on your front brake, and see if this shifts forward. If you can feel it, then you need to snug it up a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm. You know, why do you do this? Well, you do this so you don't have to replace your bearings. You know, here and here. Um, if you have your forks off, that was actually very easy, it's especially since I just pulled this off, greased the bearings, put the bearings back in, cleaned everything, greased the bearings, put it all back together. So I, I would do that again, just for peace of mind. Now I don't have to worry about it. Um, this has the PDS on it. I think the next thing I'll do is probably um, pull the back wheel on this. And when I replace this shock, um, maybe I'll try getting the swing arm bolts out and uh, loop in the bearings in there. So we'll, that might be the next thing. But anyway, for a headset bearings, uh, just greasing them, I wouldn't hesitate. That's, that's not bad, especially if you have the front wheel off to change tires. But to pull the forks isn't a, isn't a big deal. One thing I did do though, before I pulled the forks out, I checked to see how far there's little lines in the forks, little ridges, and I think this one was two or three down from the top and I took a picture. So when I put the forks back in there, I can get them at the same height that I had them at. So that might be a tip. Take a few pictures before you disassemble things.